Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Avengers video. And today what I got for you guys here is a ton of news that has dropped today. We officially have pre-orders up for the game, as well as information about all the different pre-order additions and a brand new trailer. Now, before we get into everything, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if you could leave a like rating on the video as it shows your support, and I would really appreciate it. So if you could leave a like, that would be awesome. And with that said, well, let's get into this. Okay, so earlier today, a brand new trailer dropped for the game that showed us just a tiny bit of new footage, as well as a link that gives us a ton of brand new information about the game, including all the different additions, what you get from the pre-order benefits, and a little bit of information as to what people are going to be able to receive exclusively on the PlayStation 4. So in terms of the PlayStation exclusives, I think it comes in the form of an exclusive digital edition, which is going to be only available on the PlayStation 4. With this digital edition, you're going to get a thousand in-game credits, which are used for in-game superhero customization options and a Miss Marvel nameplate for Kamala Khan, which I guess there's going to be nameplates that you can customize yourself with. And there's also going to be a brand new Miss Marvel talk to the hand emote, which is going to be on the PlayStation only. So it looks like we're diving in on those emotes and we're going to have some different options there. I swear to God, if I see Captain America doing the floss, I am out of there. I believe it was also mentioned that there's going to be at least a seven day period that PlayStation owners will have access to the beta before it's available for everyone else on all other platforms. I'm not entirely sure on that though, so don't take my word for it, but I do believe that I have read that there will be a one week early access on the beta for PlayStation owners. And then lastly, in terms of exclusive PlayStation benefits, you're going to be getting a PlayStation theme that you can apply to your dashboard. But all right, now that the PlayStation benefit talk is out of the way, let's talk about the different editions that are available right now for pre-order and what you get with each edition that's available for pre-order. So right now on the PlayStation, there are four different editions. You have the main standard edition, the exclusive digital edition, which features all the stuff that I had just mentioned in terms of the PlayStation benefits. Then there is the deluxe edition and the collector's edition, which is known as the Earth's Mightiest Edition. So with the standard edition of the game, when you pre-order, you're obviously going to get the game. You're going to get a Marvel Legacy nameplate, which is going to be just a thing in the game. Then there's going to be the online beta access and the newly revealed Marvel Legacy outfit pack, which looks awesome. I really love these suits here, especially, of course, the classic World War II Captain America suit looking great. I just wish that shield was customizable. I really would love to get the original shield that he's using in World War II because that would be amazing. And then as for Miss Marvel, I guess it looks like kind of the suit before she gets the official symbol of her character. And then Hulk's got that torn up shirt and of course the classic purple pants. And then we got what is, I guess, the Mark I Iron Man. But there already is a pretty similar suit to this in the game that we had seen revealed, unless that was meant to be what we're seeing now. And this is the final version of the Mark I Iron Man. The classic Thor suit looks fantastic. That might be the suit that I want to use permanently for Thor, depending on what other alternate suits are going to be in the game. But as of right now, based on what we've seen so far for the character, that's the costume that I want to use for Thor. And then there's Black Widow's suit, which honestly doesn't change too much about the character. I feel like her alternate suits are going to be really difficult to make unless they give her, you know, the white suit that she's going to have in the upcoming movie, which is something in the comics that will be at least something a little more different based on what she usually wears. But all right, so that was the standard edition. That's all the stuff that you get in the normal edition of the game. Then there was the exclusive PlayStation Digital Edition, which features all the stuff that I had already mentioned. You know, that Miss Marvel emote, the Miss Marvel nameplate. Of course, you're also going to get access to the 1000 in-game credits, which should be pretty good for whatever in-game customization is going to be available. And then everything else that I had already mentioned in terms of the suit pack and all that fun stuff. Then there's the deluxe edition of the game, which is going to be a little more expensive, of course, than the standard edition. And this is where you're going to be able to get 72 hours of early access to play Marvel's Avengers. So you're going to be able to play the game three days earlier than everyone else who is pre-ordering the standard edition. Alongside that, you're going to be getting that suit pack that I just shown on screen and a brand new suit pack known as the Obsidian Outfit Pack, where everyone is kind of in this white and gold color scheme. Again, 
I really wish Captain America's shield was customizable because it just doesn't look good with that white and gold that he has there. I mean, if his shield was also white and gold, then I feel like it would look so much better with the whole getup, but he's just got that normal colored shield with the white and gold suit and it just doesn't work for me. Please, developers, let that shield be customizable in some way. Everyone else looks great though. Obviously Iron Man looks awesome in whatever different kind of color scheme you're gonna put in that suit. So the silver and gold I think looks fantastic. Black Widow actually looks much different here, which I like. She's got black hair and she's got that white and gold suit, which looks great. The Hulk's got the white and gold pants, which okay. And then Miss Marvel looks pretty good as well with the Obsidian look. Then you're gonna get the Obsidian nameplate pack included in the Deluxe Edition, which is gonna have six nameplates for each of the main cast of Marvel's Avengers with all of their different icons using that white and gold color scheme. Then finally, we have the Earth's Mightiest Edition. This is the Collector's Edition. This is gonna be the most expensive one, which I believe right now is confirmed to be priced at $200 US, which is pretty pricey. That is a lot of money, so it's really up to you guys. It's probably gonna come down to a personal preference thing. If you like everything that's included, if you really want everything that's included, then go for it, go for the pre-order. If you don't, if you just want the game, I think you're not gonna be missing out on too much, but that's just my opinion. I'm not usually a collector's edition guy anyways. I don't usually go out and buy a lot of collector's edition for games because I just want the game at the end of the day. Nevertheless, included in the collector's edition or the Earth's Mightiest Edition, you're gonna be getting that 12 inch statue of Captain America that's designed by Gentle Giant. And then you're also going to be getting a Hulk bobblehead, a Thor keychain, which is of his hammer, a belt buckle for Black Widow, an Avengers pin, a little photo op there with Miss Marvel from A-Day, and then the steelbook that includes a physical copy of the deluxe edition and a blueprint of Iron Man's armor. And don't get me wrong, I know I'm complaining a little bit about this collector's edition. I think all the stuff included in it is pretty awesome. I love all of this. I love the blueprints. You can frame that, put it up in your room somewhere. I love the Mjolnir keychain. I think that's awesome. The belt buckle for Black Widow and the Hulk bobblehead, I could do with or without. I'm not going crazy over those items. I mean, the bobblehead, at least, it comes from within the game. Like, it's something that Hulk has in his car in one of the trailers we see when he's driving around Miss Marvel. And I guess, you know, that's Black Widow's belt buckle, so... It makes sense in terms of a collectible for that character. And then the enamel pin is amazing. I love pins and I would definitely want to get my hands on that. But that's it. That's all the different editions of Marvel's Avengers and all the different things that you get for pre-ordering each edition of the game. If you want to get on that and want to get to pre-ordering, the link for it is going to be in the description box below. You can choose your platform, you can choose your edition, and you can choose which retailer and which country or whatever you want to pre-order from. Now, before I let you guys go, there's one last piece of information that I wanted to talk about that's featured at the bottom as a little disclaimer when you're looking over any edition for Marvel's Avengers that gives you just a tiny bit more of information about the game and some things that you can expect when you get your hands on the game. One thing that it mentions here is that you'll need one-time online access required for the single player campaign. So from what I understand here, you'll need to be online at one point in order to access the single player. And then I'm guessing from there on out, you can play the entirety of the campaign offline. The disclaimer then reads that online access is required for multiplayer and to download post launch content, which should be of no surprise to anyone that is a given. But then it also says that a free Square Enix members account is required now that is really interesting to me and the reason that it is is because in most games nowadays when they have something like that in place where there is a required outside account that you have to create for something like a square enix free members account it could lead to something like crossplay. You know, you look at Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you need a COD account in order to be able to access the crossplay. And if you look at Fortnite, you need to have an Epic Games account in order to access the crossplay. And this allows you to play from all different platforms, whether you're playing against people on PC, whether you're playing against people on PlayStation 4 if you're on Xbox One, or Xbox One if you're on PlayStation 4, and all that fun stuff. So maybe, just maybe, Having this Square Enix free members account being a required thing to create when you get onto the game 
we might see crossplay on all different platforms playing together, which I think would be amazing. But that just about does it for the video that I got for you guys here today. A massive news dump for Marvel's Avengers. I hope you guys were all able to keep up with all that information. And like I said, if you want to just read up on all of it, the link for it is going to be in the description box below. But with that said, I'm now going to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, if you could leave a like rating on it, it shows your support. And I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose. And you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel. Or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already please follow me on instagram and twitter and like me on facebook those links are in the description drop a like if you enjoyed leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new see you guys later